All right, well, here comes another trade review. Has two in a row that I'm actually recording. Let's get that right. Because I'm always doing my trade reviews. I got to. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So as the trade reviews go, first we start with what I saw this morning. Then we go into the mental, and then we go into the actual trades I took. Uh, I took a few trades today. Uh, the market presented a couple ideas, so I took them. Uh, all the trades that I took within my strategy worked. All the trades that I was like, well, you know, maybe it'll work. And I took out of strategy. Guess what? They failed. But I am finishing the day positive. And if anybody was trading today and saw how the market's been performing, at least up until now, which is 2.15, has been too chop people up basically if today you are an options trader your premiums are shot yeah one of those days but uh you know the market still has a lot of time to go so you might go all the way back up never know all right so let's start so coming into the day we of course let's look let's get back to this in the middle First, we had a change of character, change of character, so we closed above, and then we went up and got back all the way close up to here, right? Uh, then we had a reversal back into the back into this trading area that it just broke out of, and it goes further down, but it broke out of. And then now we held, we held here, which I think there was a four hour time frame here, hold, and went back up, and now we broke through here, and then we pulled back. Now we're pulling back after we broke through because we just pulled back, all right? So now we're holding here to see if we can get more people to push it up higher. It's up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So yesterday, uh, yesterday, uh, of course, we were up here and we pushed all the way back down to finish the day. Uh, so yesterday should have been a shorting day. And today, today, that's what I saw, all right? So by the time I sat down, I don't remember where this was, uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, but I sat down around 10, 15 market time. And then of course I went and got my chart all set up all nice and set up and uh, well, where did I do it? Did it over here on this one. Okay. And of course we had this hourly that we've been testing all week. And it's also a four hour up here as well on the four hour chart, but I look, I would like to put it in the hourly, right? So when I came in, uh, yeah, so yeah, so I was just like, I didn't have any idea what was going to happen as far as what I saw. I just figured I just wait for my setup and see what works. Uh, but definitely when I sat down, the market was chop, chop, choppy. So yeah. As far as the mental aspect, uh, I've been trying to work on that as much as possible to increase uh, my uh, contract sizes and all those different things uh, because I want to make more per trade, uh, but I want to make sure I do it in a way that doesn't wear out my mental capital. Uh, just like yesterday, I think it was yesterday I said I was like, I wasn't feeling too good, but today I wasn't fidgety, nothing, I felt good about it. And that's because yesterday all day I was just talking through trades, talking through my mental aspect. When I went to the gym, I was like, you know, what was the differences? So I was just talking through it all day. So today when I sat down, I went through my normal list uh, of things I read off and just make sure that I'm going to hold myself accountable. And I felt okay. So today I took a couple of trades. So let's go to here. So, as you always know, I am looking for, I am looking for the market to wick into an area and take out. So when I came in, I drew this box here, right? And I just wanted to see how many times it's gonna come down and hit the box. And then of course over here, I drew my uh, my opening range, my 15 minute opening range, which when I came, it was already stuck in this range, right? We didn't come down here and hit yet, down here yet, but we're stuck in this range. So I was like, all right. Stuck in this range, maybe we'll have a chance of going up. That's what I that's what I thought. So I did take a small contract, I think around here. 
I took a base time though, the uh, nine moving average. I think I, uh, I took a small contract around here and it did go up, but I didn't take any profit and it came down and knocked me out break even. Uh, I guess I just put it, to be honest, I put it on because I was like, let me see how the market's moving. Let me see how the numbers are moving. And these numbers over here, because I noticed I watch it better when I'm in a trade. So I wanted to get an understanding of how it was moving, where it was getting stuck and those kind of things. But I ended up getting stopped out uh, for break even, or it was a small loss. Cannot remember. But then the next trade actually came very close from there. So if you saw this line, saw this line here, uh, I think it was down here. It wasn't this trade, I think it was back here. Whoa, 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 it was back here. It was back here, it was this one, yep. Mm -hmm. And I ended up breaking even. So, first trade happened down here. When it came down, first good trade, and it took out this liquidity area here. I was looking forward to take this one out, but then I went to the three, to the, you go to the three minute, you'll see that same area over here, right here. That it took it out, it didn't really take it out, but then this candle, and I was like, all right, let me go ahead and jump. And I got in for a nice move up. Uh, I got in right there. I went all the way back up to 70, no, 89. And I jumped out, right? Jumped out right away and it wicked and then it came back up. Uh, of course, should have held, but you know, 10 points. And it came up here, it took that wick out when it closed down this one into this area. I wasn't sure about it, but then the, 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 the right over here was telling me, ah, you might as well try it. So I tried it, took another 10 points down. And then it came down here, it wicked. No, no, it came down and then I took some stupid trade here and pulled everything back to all the money I just made. So when it came down here and I took it, I took this wick, it took the wick out, it closed back into it. I took this trade, 10 points, and then it, then it and I took some, I took most of it off and then I left one off and then I took off the rest of it here. So that was all the trades that I took today. Uh, that was it. If you have any questions or want me to dig deeper into my trading strategy, leave a comment. If not, I'm just gonna keep doing these for me. All right, bye-bye.